But then I remember around like fourth grade math, they'd start being like, no, you got it, you go help them. <laughs> to be fair, the problem was one half divided by one fourth. I was sitting there, I was like, dad, I don't understand. He was like, they got you dividing fractions? <laughs> Aren't they already divided? We flip to the back of the book. It's one half divided by one fourth. The answer is two. We just looked at each other like, right on. <laughs> I still don't understand. If you have one half of a pizza and you divide it by one fourth of a pizza, you get two brand new, fresh, hot, delicious pizzas. Okay, what does it mean to say that one half divided by one fourth should be two? How are we going to get two delicious pizzas out of this deal? Well, let's draw one delicious pizza first. This is a pepperoni pizza, obviously. And remember, we have half of it remaining. So let's divide this up the way pizzas are often divided into eight slices. And let's indicate that we have half of those left. So we have four slices out of the original eight. Now to say, hey, we want to divide this by one fourth. What does that mean? We're not dividing it in four ways. We're asking the question, how many one fourths fit into the half of the pizza that we have left? In fact, the way I prefer to think about this sticks with the slices metaphor. If we're talking about a fourth of a pizza, one way to think about that is to ask how many slices that were a fourth of the size of the original pizza could we fit into the half of the pizza that we have left? And you can see, oh, it's that question where the answer is two, because this one fourth of a pizza sized slice could fit in this upper left hand corner of the pizza that we have left. Or if we turn it, it could also fit into this lower left hand corner of the pizza that we have left. That is the two that is the result of this calculation is not two full hot, delicious pizzas. What we're saying is if we have half of a pizza left and we want to divide that into slices that are a fourth of the size of the original pizza, we can do that and end up with two of those one fourth sized slices of pizza. In this particular case, a fourth goes into a half nicely, but what if we wanted to do something like, hey, our original pizza had 13 slices and we have five of those left, and now we want to divide that by one fourth. So we wanna figure out how many fourth sized slices fit into our five 13th remaining pizza. This is where it's key to remember that division is the same thing as multiplication by a reciprocal. So dividing by one fourth is actually the same thing as multiplying by four over one. And what this gives us back is the answer 20 thirteenths, or if you prefer awful mixed numbers, one and seven thirteenths. We're not saying that we have one and seven thirteenths pizzas right now. We're saying if you divided five thirteenths of a pizza up into one one fourth sized slices, you would have one full slice of that size and then another seven thirteenths of a fourth sized slice left over after that. As always, the lesson is trust the back of the book.